The first wave of desert locusts happened in south-central Somalia in December from Yemen before moving into Kenya and Ethiopia by February. The insects had spread in seven East African countries including Tanzania, Uganda, Ethiopia and South Sudan. But the worst is yet to come. The desert locusts thrive during heavy rainfall in deserts and arid areas. For months, East Africa has experienced extraordinarily heavy rainfall linked to an Indian Ocean surface warming, a condition called Indian Ocean Dipole. The desert locusts are winging in from breeding grounds in Somalia in search of fresh vegetation springing up with seasonal rains. The highly mobile creatures can travel over 80 miles a day. Their swarms, which can contain as many as 80 million locust adults in each square kilometer, eat the same amount of food daily as about 35,000 people. The first wave of the desert locust left millions of eggs behind that now have begun hatching. Within weeks, they will turn into adults when each locust consumes its own weight, roughly 2 grams every day. The favorable breeding conditions may mean there likely will be another new round of swarms in the late June and July. This means it will interfere with the harvest season. While much of the world focuses on the coronavirus pandemic that has infected more than 1.6 million people across the globe, East Africa is battling the worst invasion of desert locusts in decades. That is to get worse, with the largest second wave already arriving in parts of the region. If you can see agriculture contributes a lot to our Kenyan economy. More so the fact that uh, much of our food comes from agricultural produce. And if this uh, locust, is, locust pandemic is put on hold, we lose a lot of food. And uh, now that we have the corona in play, Lockdown is uh, seemingly possible, and if there's a lockdown and we don't solve the locust issue, it means our agricultural produce, farm produce, reduces by some uh, wide percentage. This uh, will uh, lead to some food shortages and eventually we'll be having a lot of death cases. The Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, of the United Nations, which is shepherding the global response to the region's locust crisis, estimates that locust numbers could grow another 20 times during the upcoming rainy season unless control activities are stepped up. FAO continues to raise concerns about how locusts could impact the collective 20 million people already enjoying food insecurity in Ethiopia, Kenya, Somalia, South Sudan, Uganda, and Tanzania, as well as additional 15 million people in war-torn Yemen. We uh, anticipate a potential deterioration of the food security situation. We are in a region where over 11 million people in the three countries are already uh, in uh, acute food insecurity. Uh, therefore, we need to make all possible efforts to avoid uh, such a deterioration. While lockdown is becoming a reality, People engaged in the fight against the upsurge are still allowed to conduct surveillance and air and ground control operations. There are difficulties in fighting the infestation because of travel restrictions which slow cross-border travel and delay the delivery of pesticides. Suppliers of motorized sprayers and pesticides are facing major challenges with limited air fight options to facilitate delivery. This is the worst locust invasion that Kenya has seen in 70 years. The current situation in East Africa remains extremely alarming as an increasing number of exceptionally large swarms are forming in Kenya, southern Ethiopia and Somalia.